The United States of America is the most successful economic and political experiment in human history. We are not American because of nationality or ethnicity or certainly not because of religion. We are Muslim and Catholic and Protestant and Jewish and nothing at all. And yet we are all American. And so we need to refocus on why we have that unity. And that unity is an aspirational narrative. It doesn't matter where you came from, it matters where you're going. You can come from humble circumstances, you can do great things. The key to that, though, has been to have people come from all over the world to be a part of that narrative. It is the energy, the youthfulness, the ambition, and the risk-taking of immigrants that has made this country what it is. But it can't just be for people who come here, it also has to be for people who are here. And so focusing on education. I worry that the crisis in K-12 education may well be our greatest national security threat. The poorest of our kids are the ones who are most being deprived of a quality education. And the modern economy punishes brutally those who don't have 21st century skills. Right now, we have a kind of opt-out system in our public education system. If parents are well off enough, they will move to districts where the schools are good. So who's trapped in failing neighborhood schools? Poor kids, very often minority kids. I've called it the civil rights uh, issue of our time, that poor parents care about their kids. It's not true that poor parents don't care about their kids, they just don't have good options. Give them a charter school. Give them the ability to move within the district. If necessary, give them a voucher and let them send their child to a private school because we've just got to equalize the opportunities for children. If I could wave a magic wand, uh, we would continue to be the place where human potential reaches its greatest height. That means bringing people here from all over the world, immigrants, and it means allowing people to escape uh, the bounds of class. That's education. The private sector-led growth is the key to economic well-being. The government can help create an environment for private sector-led growth. I would suggest getting our fiscal house in order so that we're not mortgaging our children's future with ever greater borrowing. Secondly, uh, low taxation and uh, low regulation. We were once a real magnet for investment in the United States because we treated corporate taxation uh, not as just a piggy bank to keep increasing the size of government, but really uh, we had relatively low corporate tax, tax rates. We now are way up there. When the United States uh, has its fiscal house in order and we're a job creator again, and when people really feel that they have a chance at that American aspirational dream, we are going to find that we again have the energy to lead. America is a beacon, yes, for freedom, but it's also a beacon because people around the world know that matters of class, matters of where you came from, really doesn't uh, condition where you're going to end up in this the United States of America. America is a beacon because of an idea. And when we reinvigorate that idea here at home, it's going to resonate abroad from every part of the world.